she was a woman of great force of character and a great determination, of, but also very fun-loving. She was legendary for her amazingly loud, booming laugh, which people heard from corridors away. My name is Prakash Panagarden. Laurie Hendren and I were both professors of computer science at McGill University. Laurie is an extraordinary person. First of all, a scientist of international standing. She was a fellow of the Royal Society of Canada. She was a fellow of the ACM, which is the computer science organization. So she was highly decorated and recognized. She was also an award-winning teacher. She sent me email because I was away at a conference and she said, there are lumps in my breast. And uh, the f her first concern was that I shouldn't be too worried. And you know, at first we were fairly optimistic because we knew our, uh, the statistics for breast cancer survival were 91% after five years. So I was thinking this is going to be you know, a big problem, but I did not see it in as fatal terms as, we, as it came to be later. Opal is an app to help patients uh, navigate through their uh, illness and treatments at the hospital. It allows patients to see their appointments. They can also see their doctor's note, their blood test results, and educational material that is pertinent and personalized to them. One of the stories that are typical of her was that there was a fairly big hole in her spine that had to be filled in with hot plastic. So they inject a needle, push a needle into the spine and inject hot plastic that then solidifies. And so this is a surgery that that's, uh, can be done with just local anesthetic, but she insisted on minimal anesthetic because she wanted to see it on the TV screen while they were doing it. <laughs> the nurse came out and told me, your wife is crazy. <laughs> So, but she was, you know, a scientist, she always wanted to know what's happening. Both she and I are uh, rationalists. We don't believe in uh, supernatural entities and afterlife. So for us, this kind of thing is, is what, for us, the conception of what the afterlife is. And to me, it's a sign that she's still living in some sense. And her impact is still there. So it means very much to me. Mm -hmm.